Welcome to episode 66 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. And first of all, I hope you're having an amazing day, whether you're driving to work or getting ready for your day with the kids or walking the dog, whatever it is that you're doing, I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day because today is a very special episode where we're going to recap the event, the first live event we've ever thrown that we threw a few weeks ago, ClarityCon Automotive. We're going to show you a little pre-event footage. We're going to uh, put in some snippets from my first keynote of the day and really talk about what it was to have an event that focused on alignment and connection because that's what this, that's what business life is about these days. Can you connect with your customers and your team? And can you align the pieces between what you want to do and where you want to end up? Are all those things aligned? Because if they're not, guess what? It doesn't matter how much talent and skill you have. It will eventually just go off the rails if your alignment isn't right. So I hope you enjoy this clip. If you don't usually watch the show, if you usually listen to the show, it might be a good week to check it out on the website on claritycompressed.com or on YouTube because you're going to actually get to see some of the event and you see some of the live energy. If not, if you're just listening, it should still be a great experience for you. So thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy experiencing a little piece, which was with a little piece of what was an amazing amazing event. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Okay, so ClarityCon is about to start. This has been something that really has been thought about for the last 18 months. It's only been planned for about the last 10 weeks, but the team did an amazing job, put it on. We have a stage which has more lights and music, but we just blew a fuse, but that's okay. Things happen, right? It's the challenge. It's the struggle. It's what I talk about all the time. A theme that I've been on for a little while is this. Innovation is a choice. And more and more, when I talk about personal accountability and I think about the victim mentality that a lot of people have to the circumstances around them, more and more I'm just firmly locked on the fact that you get to choose if you're going to innovate. It's not a magic ability. You get to choose if you're going to have an aligned organization, right? You can complain about this person or that person, but every day it's a choice. Am I going to work toward an aligned organization? Am I going to work toward innovation? So that really is going to be a center theme of my first keynote that I give today about alignment and innovation being a choice. And that's the reality. So if you don't believe that, then your mindset is wrong because you get to choose every single day, every single moment, what it is that you want to be, what it is that you want to do. Don't be a victim to everybody else. And um, I kind of am going into today with this feeling of what I always talk about and saying like, you have to take a run and a swing at. It's why I affiliate when I talk about Nike the brand because playing the game isn't about knowing you're going to win. It's about trying and doing your best and doing your personal best and getting your team and stress testing and see how much we can actually accomplish. So we're going to have a room full of dealers. We're going to have a room full of directors and owners. And uh, you got to start somewhere. So this is it. We're doing ClarityCon today. And uh, I hope there's a lot of good things to come from it. That's it, baby. 20 second countdown. All right, now as we do the haka. Ah. Good morning. It's a, it's a good looking group. Yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting, the, the answer that won. Amazing company culture. Um, we're going to talk a lot about that today. Um, but first, we're going to kind of give you um, an idea of what to expect. I tried to position it um, in any marketing that you received or in the emails coming up so that I could really get us aligned and moving in the right direction. So we're going to start off with uh, an automotive thing. So we have a lot of car people in the room. I love car people. I didn't grow up in the industry. I found the industry, or I say sometimes it found me. I started as a reconditioner and uh, myself in a rusty van repairing wheels in Oswego, New York. And I thought to myself, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. No one thinks that in the wintertime in Oswego, repairing wheels outside, just so you know. If they tell you they're passionate about that, they're lying. Um, So we have some uh, vehicles up on the screen. So can you tell me? What is one thing all these vehicles have in common? It's a little bit of a trick question, right? They all have wheels and metal and glass and things. But there's something specific about these vehicles and a feature that they have that I'm going to use to explain a little bit about what we need and I think connect with a lot, what a lot of us experience in our organizations as a whole. We've got a big variety. We have, you know, Porsche, Tesla, some American muscle. 
All of these vehicles have a feature called launch control. Show of hands, how many people know what launch control does? Fewer than I expected, actually. Well, launch control is a technological feature that takes a vehicle that has an incredibly powerful engine, a very finely tuned transmission, it's a performance-based vehicle, and it has all of this raw power. And what launch control does is tells the computer and the CPUs on all of these different items, all of these different components, how to work together to make that car take off from a dead stop as quickly, as efficiently, and as linearly, is that a word? As linearly as possible. Because we have an engine that's producing hundreds of horsepower. And if you just jam on the gas pedal because that means I want to go, this is what happens. Right? Actually, this isn't what happens because this is really cool because the guy still has his foot on the brake. Right? So this is a little too awesome. Actually, this is more likely what happens. And um, we've seen this, and many of you have probably had this experience where somebody always wanted a muscle car, and they always wanted a powerful vehicle, and they buy it. They've never really driven it, and they take it off the lot, and the first thing to do is break the back wheels loose, and they spin out. Without launch control, and with power, this very easily can happen. We have an engine that can produce something amazing. We have a finely tuned transmission that can handle the shifting at the right moment. We have tires that are designed to hold grip and stay on the ground. We have brakes that can stop the vehicle. But if they are out of alignment, you get this. And this is because there's a driver. This is because there is the, the opportunity to mishandle those things. And in business, it's very much the same way, especially in the dealership world. We have all kinds of systems in our business. I mean, this is any business, and some of this is practical business wisdom. But in the dealership, we have a unique set of challenges. And we have all these systems that are constantly integrating. We have sales, and service, and finance, and floor planning, and HR, and compliance, and real estate. And every organization, every dealer organization in this room has all of those systems to one extent or another, all at different levels of competency, and different levels of competency at different times throughout the dealership's lifespan. And those systems don't always work well together. They're not always aligned. Actually, that's why we come to events like this. That's why we have events like this. That's why those entrepreneurs in the room those business leaders, those tasked with managing systems and other people, have to keep learning, have to keep working. That's where the friction comes from. Because if they were all the same all the time, then there would be no variable. There would be no variation. And just like the car with launch control, there are variables. How hard did I push the gas? How slippery is the pavement? All, how, how is this car tuned at this moment? And so with all these systems, we have the challenge of aligning them. And that's why alignment is what I had in mind when I created this event and the thought and the idea for this event. Because what good is sales if service drops the ball? What good is service if sales can't move used cars? What happens? Out of alignment, what happens if your people strategy doesn't line up with the needs you have to fill the seats on the bus? So this event is specifically designed to get people in the room from different disciplines so now we can start to converse and talk and hear from thought leaders and innovators on the topics that we deal with every day. And it's really rare in this industry that we get a chance to sit as a group and align. Sure, we get the opportunity to do it inside our offices and we get the opportunity to do it in staff meetings and Monday morning meetings, but we all know when we're in those places, right, there are other things going on, right? The familiar begins to kick in, and this is just how these meetings always go. So inherently, we're here today for alignment. Talking about okay. 
That's it. We did it. That felt super natural. That was probably the most natural I've ever felt when I spoke. So it couldn't have gone any better. Yeah. I saw a lot of attention. That's how I kind of gauge what's going on. I saw a lot of nodding heads. Um, and that's all you can ask for. If people are looking, not looking at their phones, but they're paying attention, they're nodding their heads. I think we have a really good at bat of making some really good change in the organizations that are represented here. So that's what gets me excited. See how it goes. Go watch Candace. So I so after my segment was over, um, we really just got a lot more insight from some really high-end speakers that came in in the automotive industry. We're talking about uh, Dale Pollack, founder and CEO of one of the most influential products called V Auto that had been introduced and really changed the way dealers buy and sell cars. Adam Robinson, the CEO of a company called Hireology that is absolutely taking hire and recruiting by storm. Um, he was on all kinds of Forbes list and entrepreneur list for best company culture, fastest growing company. It's a tech business. He's an amazing CEO, leader of people and he understands connection. Uh, he flew out also to be part of this event. Uh, Candace Crane, who is a very, very savvy people strategist, has worked with a lot of big brands, OEMs, dealer groups, and uh, just really helps align strategy. You know, one of the fun elements was, too, that I was able to have my family there. So uh, it kept me calm and kept me light uh, throughout the day. And it really was one of those family business moments where I was really proud to have them out there. We also had uh, Glenn Pash, the CEO of PCG Companies, a uh, training and marketing agency that really helps dealers align their teams and strategies and then market their products. One of the most special things of the day, though, were the fireside chats. It include, They included the speakers and myself, and we took questions from the audience on an app that allowed people to ask some very transparent and real questions. And I think that was one of the things that made the connection of the event so deep is that people could ask questions that they might be embarrassed to ask if they were holding a microphone or if uh, they were sitting with their boss or manager. And so the questions we were getting were questions based on really what do I do in these complex human situations in my business. Also, somebody asked a question about or talked about the fear that they felt when they saw a Carvana license plate thinking, oh my gosh, are they coming into my market? Am I, am I about to die? Really, that's what human emotion does to us. It makes us feel like it's the end. So um, the morning session was great because we talked about the people's side of business m the most and got questions that really got to the center and the core of the humanity in the room, which is one of the reasons I think we connected really well. So we're halfway through the day, actually more than halfway through the day at ClarityCon. I'm on next for my, my primary keynote and I'm just ready to deliver the message. I consider it to be the punchline of everything we talked about today. Um, I made a shirt just because of it, brand beats the hacks. And it's not that branding is the end all be all things that are gonna fix operations and it's gonna fix you know, your hiring process and your marketing, but brand is the aligning factor between your internal operations and your external operations. And I think I'm in a great position to make that point because brand is communication of the essence of what you're about. It aligns everyone that is on your team to deliver what you're saying you want to deliver to everyone that is a customer or a client. So I think this is really teed up nice to just put an exclamation point on the end because brand is so holistic. It is not just marketing or advertising. Or, or advertising. Brand is people. Brand is human. And it's time to make that point. I think that people would not have come to this conference if it was just a conference on branding because there's so much confusion around brand. But I think that seeing the thread that has been woven through just the operations of their business, and that's people's strategy, it's back-end operations, it's sales and marketing, it's product pricing. The thread that has been woven today is something that people came for, they wanted, they know all these are relevant issues and relevant uh, components of their business. And now it's, I have the opportunity to tell them how brand actually encapsulates all of that. I don't think people would have come if it was just for brand, but people come because they want their business to be better and brand is something that can do that. 
So then after that, we jumped into the afternoon session, which was just another one-two punch of strategy and connection. Dale spoke, Michelle Denegin from the C CMO of Roadster, which is a, a top line digital retailing platform for dealers. And then I had the opportunity, actually a really special moment, Dale announced me uh, and said some really, really kind things uh, as I came up. And when I hit the stage, I felt like a fish in water. I was wearing a shirt that says brand beats the hacks and um, went through what brand connection actually means and how it's not your logo or your tagline, how it is actually something that aligns your organization from front to back. Then we had our, sec our second fireside chat with all the today's speakers on the stage, which again, just went great and just had a lot of fun interaction between the speakers. And uh, that was that. Uh, we were just really excited to get the event uh, in the can and... Um, so we were really excited, you know, when that ends, because you realize, holy crap, we just did that. It worked. People loved it. People connected. Uh, the, the energy in the room was great. And uh, we were just excited. It was that moment when all the pressure was gone and you realized that you actually executed. And I just left with an amazing amount of gratitude. And then uh, we checked back in how I felt as soon as the event was over. And this is that moment. So that's it. What else can I say? Clarity Con Automotive, first one is in the can, and I couldn't ask for anything better. We had a couple little glitches, but literally people were coming up. Everyone who came up said, this was the best event I've ever, not even one of the best, this is the best event I've ever been to. So we're gonna go back and examine what we did right, see if we can replicate that. But I think we hit a nerve, and um, I think the nerve just got hit because we went at the human element of business. We did talk metrics, we did talk strategies and tactics, but the holistic approach to it is really what connected because business is people and people connect with other people. And I think we just hit the mark on connecting with other people today. So um, I hope that this is the first of many Clarity Cons where we just continue this um, trajectory and format that is built to connect with people. So see what we got. <laughs> so there you have it. Clarity Con Automotive in like 15 minutes. I think that number one, I left with a ton of gratitude, but the real takeaway is that People want to connect. And in a room full of dealers, and I'm talking about like some of the top dealers in the country were in the room with their leadership teams and directors and presidents saying, this event is going to move the ball more than NADA did for me. Like, and NADA is the largest, most established event in the industry. So that just goes to show you that connection with the things that matter most will always beat bigger, bombastic, more expensive. It doesn't need to be all those things. You need to understand how to connect with people. And I think leadership, I've said this uh, a little bit this week, I was talking about it. I think that leadership is a combination of vision and motivation. And whether that's your team or just other people in your industry, if you can provide vision and motivation to people, they will feel the value in those moments. So thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for following along. And um, we're going to start setting up ClarityCon 2 already. We're already talking about where, what city, what speakers, what format. So uh, that's already in the works. And we'll keep you updated on that. But thank you so much for listening to the podcast, watching the content on the social platforms. And I hope that you can get a little vision and motivation and inspiration from this and that you can be inspired to do something better. Do something more inspirational. Do something that moves the ball forward in your business, in your organization, in your relationships, because the truth is you can do it. So I hope you do that today and I'll talk to you soon.